Frederick Golan Hopkins was a famous chemist who was famous for the main figure in the establishment of biochemistry as a field of both teaching and research in Britain. Hopkins made many important contributions to the understanding of the metabolism of living cells and biochemical research methods. He won the Nobel Prize for his discovery of vitamins. He made this discovery in 1912. He made this discovery because he was extremely smart, plus he went to college for, with a great education to help get him further in his findings. The science community accepted his discovery and they continued on with his findings. Frederick became a chemist because when he was in college, he was taking a part-time class in chemistry that really interested him. So he decided to take it further into his life by making a chemist his career choice. He received this education by after getting his doctoral degree in 1894. Hopkins joined the staff at Guy's Hospital and taught for several years. In 1898, he was invited to teach physiology and anatomy at Cambridge University, and it was that at Cambridge when Hopkins grew well into his 30s, and that his long distinguished career really began. During his lifetime, Frederick was born in Eastbourne, Europe, England. Then later, when his mom moved to a different area, he decided to move to the London School. The events that shaped Frederick's interest in science was a part-time chemistry class. He was awarded the Royal Medal of the Royal Society of London in 18, 1918 and his Compel Medal in 1926. From 1930 until 1935, he was president of the Royal Society and found a little time to research. During this period, however, he exerted time influence of the contemporaries. He didn't have many obstacles to face in his life, only one big one, which was he had to deal with the moving around and the fact that his family didn't want him to study sciences. Frederick became a chemist because he was determined to make new discoveries.